Good morning, boys and girls. Happy Monday. I hope everyone had a nice weekend. Well, I am really excited for this week because we're going to have some fun. Okay, so um, parents, if you're watching, I'm going to make a few announcements. And if you're not watching kids, you're going to have to tell your parents, okay? I'll also put the announcement on our Seesaw announcement page. But what I wanted to share with you is that this week we're going to have some fun in kindergarten, okay? You guys have been working so, so hard. But if we were in our classroom at school, we would be doing Apple uh, activities all week long because this Friday is kind of a famous person's birthday. Now, I will be talking about him a lot, but his name is Johnny Appleseed. Have you ever heard of that name before? Isn't that a funny name? His first name is Johnny. I've known a lot of Johns and Johnnies in my life, but his last name is Appleseed. Do you think that's a real name? Why do you think they named him Johnny Appleseed? Well, I'll tell you a little secret. His real name was John Chapman, Johnny Chapman, but he loved apples so, so, so much that he had a nickname and people called him Johnny Appleseed. Now, I'm not gonna get into the story right now, um, but I do wanna show you my little friend. I've got a cute little friend and it's just a red apple right here. You can see the stem, the brown stem, the green leaves. It's a red apple. I gotta kinda poof it up a little bit, but look, when I stick it out, ooh, what came out of that apple? It's a little worm. Did you know that worms like to eat apples? I wonder why, huh? I guess because it's a plant and they're very delicious and they're very nutritious. So here's my little friend, the worm, the apple worm, and I will probably show you him um, all week long when we're doing our lessons, okay? I also wanna show you before we do the calendar, I just got back from the store and I bought some apples, okay? And um, this is my announcement. If parents are still watching, I want you guys, if you can, to um, buy a few apples this week. I'm giving you Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, but please have them by Thursday, because Thursday we're gonna do our main activity, which is apple tasting. And then we're also gonna do some apple art that you might need an extra apple for. Um, and I'm not sure, I'm probably Friday we'll do that. But what I did is I, I went to Tom's Farms um, you know, that's towards Corona because that's where I live. I don't want you to have to go to Tom's Farms, but boy, did I luck out because I wanted one red, one yellow, and one green apple. And they had them. And I know sometimes I haven't had that great of luck at the stores. If I go to Stater Brothers or Vaughn's, uh, Albertson's, sometimes they, they, everyone has red apples. Wanna see my nice, juicy, delicious red apple, okay? And I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna put that in this basket here. So I set out, a red basket, and of course the red one goes there. I haven't washed these yet, but I'm not gonna eat them right away. They had the most beautiful, yellow, delicious apples, and they are such a bright yellow, and this is what's kind of hard to find. Um, so I know when I used to buy extra apples for the apple tasting in kindergarten, the yellow ones were always hard to find. They had, you know, kind of greenish yellow or the red and the yellow mixed, but the pure yellow, uh, delicious were a little harder to find. I don't want you to have to go all the way to Tom's Farm. So if you can't find the yellow, you could probably buy one of those those gala apples, the red and the yellow together, or as close as you can get to yellow, okay? You really only need one of each color. I bought more because I'm gonna be doing some experiments and some art and stuff with them. And here's the green one, the Granny Smith, okay? So I'm putting my green apples there. Like I said, I bought a few extras because I'm gonna be doing lessons with my apples. You guys are just gonna do apple tasting. And if you want, I have an activity for um, apple prints and it doesn't matter what color you use for the apple prints. You would just be painting the apple and um, doing some prints. I'll show you later on in the week. Here's my other green. So I just bought two yellow, um, two green and two red. If we were in the classroom, I would send a note home on Monday and I would tell everyone to bring an apple. And when they came in in the morning, they would put it either in the red, the green, or the yellow basket. And then I would see how many we had. If I needed to go to the store and buy some, which was usually yellow, <laughs> uh, I would go and buy extra so we'd have enough for our apple tasting. Now, when they taste, um, parents, we're gonna do our tasting on Thursday because I wanted to give you guys a few days to get your apples. You know, don't make a separate trip to the store, but I'm sure most people go to the store at least once a week. Just throw in your basket, a red, a yellow, and a green. Have them all nice and washed. 
And then on Thursday, I'll keep announcing it because a parent might have to be there to cut. If there's no parent there, I'll just have them take a bite of the apple, but you don't want to waste the apple. So if you just cut off a slice of each one when we're tasting, then you can use the rest of the apple for either art or eat it for a snack, right? So I'm going to keep making that announcement all week and hopefully by Thursday, everyone will have their apples, one red, one green, one yellow. And like I said, they're just gonna eat a slice of each one because if we had them eat the whole apple, they'd have a tummy ache. Even though they're healthy and nutritious, you don't wanna eat three apples in one sitting, right? Okay, now we're gonna do our calendar and you're gonna be really surprised. I told you I was gonna do it and I finally did. Do you notice the calendar? Doesn't it look beautiful? I was at school and I got my other apples that have three colors. So instead of just a red, green, red, green, red, green pattern, A, B, A, B, A, B, now we have, well, first let's talk about the month. It's still September, right? Okay, now we're gonna look at it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19 would actually be Saturday. Oh, you know what? We do need to do the pattern first. <laughs> Sorry about that. I don't want to start the video over. I'm going to keep going. Okay, let's do the pattern first. Uh, red, green, yellow. We added yellow. Okay, now we go back to red, green, yellow. And then we're going to repeat that pattern. Red, green, yellow. Red, green, yellow. Red, green, yellow. You guys got it? Red, green, yellow, okay? Now, the pattern, instead of just being red, green, red, green, A, B, A, B, we added the letter C because we added a third color. So now we've got A, B, C. A's are all red, B's are all green, and C's are all yellow. And then we repeat, A, B, C, A, B, C. So if that's the pattern, when I go looking for the number 19, what color do you think it'll be? I don't want to go all the way back to here, so let's just do this. Red, green, yellow, now back to red. So I'm going to look for 19, and remember, that's not today, that is Saturday. Oops. Okay, so I'm going to put it here. Number 19, Saturday was a stay home day, and it's on a red apple. Sunday was a stay home day. What comes after 19? I hope you said 20. And 20 is on a green, because the green comes after red. Now we're looking for today, okay? Because we're back to Monday, Sunday, Monday, 2021. And the number 21 is on a yellow. So for the weekend, we did our whole pattern. Red for Saturday, green for Sunday, yellow for today, which is Monday. Um, we're going to put a straw in. Now, boys and girls, you know what? I realized after I had done the, the uh, video on Friday that we forgot to do this Friday. Okay, so we're going to add one for Friday, and I'm going to turn this to 27, and then one for today. And that happens sometimes, okay? I get busy. I get excited about doing other things, and then I forget something, and that's okay. We'll always catch up. So we still have 20. We don't have enough to bundle. Oops, I have to turn this one more time now. Where's my number eight? Um, it might have gotten mixed up. Let me look for it. There it is, it sure did get mixed up. Okay, so we have 20 in the tens pocket, two bundles of 10, and now we have 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. Two more and we'll get to bundle this these straws. Wow, we've been in kindergarten a long time. So now, up here on my number line, I am going to put 27, which is for Friday. Okay, and we've got a two around, down, and back. Watch what you do as you make the number two, and a seven, a straight line on top, and a slant line down. Number seven is in town. And then 28 for today, around, down, and back. And then for eight, I start with an S. So I make a beautiful S, but when I get to the bottom, I don't stop. I close up the bottom and close up the top. Okay, great job. Now, I'm gonna move this closer over here. I you can see the, a shadow on there, but I guess we'll have to make do. Now, I'm gonna turn these all over because it's a brand new week. We weren't here on Saturday, oops. 
We weren't here on Saturday. We didn't get to see that one, did we? I'm going to turn them all over. And we're going to start on a brand new week with seven days. All right. Now, I always have to turn this over because this is also the weekend. So we're not in school on those <laughs> I'm so sorry we're not in school on Saturday or Sunday all right this one goes down here I'm gonna turn this one over okay because yesterday was Sunday okay hopefully you had fun yesterday went to the lake went to the park did something fun with your family maybe you went to church um, and I stayed home and worked all day <laughs> uh, but I did get to go to the pool okay and then now I'm gonna turn this one around okay now this is today and it starts with an M, and you guys know M. M says M mm, for Missy Mouse. This one is Monday. Today is Monday. Let's spell Monday. Marvelous Monday. M-O-N-D-A-Y. Okay, so here is our brand new week. And we're going to put this over here and take a peek. Okay, um, I'm going to go ahead and change that. And I get to pass over the 19 and the 20 because those were the weekend. I'm looking for number 21. And this we're gonna slide all the way over to Monday. It's still nice and hot and sunny. Boys and girls, we're not gonna add another bubble gum because we're gonna do some review this week before we go on to number six. We're gonna use our new math materials, the gold math. And um, I am gonna change this because we're working on a new letter this week. Let me see while I take these out, if I can give you a hint, okay? Uh, let's see, we have one person whose name starts with this letter in our class, and it's a girl. That's my first hint. My second hint is it makes the sound you hear when you say pig or penguin, okay? How about one more hint? It makes a sound when you say Peyton. <laughs> that was a good hint, right? We're going to do the letter P. So Peyton, I'm gonna ask you, if you have, if you still have your necklace, you can wear it every day to Zoom. It'll kind of remind us that we're working on P this week, okay? And let me find my cards to go in there. It should be right here. Oh, P for penguin. P, -p, -p penguin, that's a cute little penguin. I'll put it in the pocket and P for p -p pig. Now the lesson today that you're going to watch, the video lesson, I did it at school, and uh, you'll see some other things that start with P, okay? We're gonna be working on P all week. Now I'm gonna turn over here, and I'm gonna show you the focus wall. So the focus wall, I just use my whiteboard because I don't have that much room in here. In the classroom, we'd have a whole separate board. Okay, so I've got this, the letter P up here. So I put the big P, little P, and there's a pumpkin. Okay, we're gonna be doing, we're doing apples now, but next month we're gonna be talking a lot about pumpkins. I have a picture of Pee Wee Penguin. I also the, put the picture that we used when we made all the letters with the sticks. Remember the first two weeks of school, we used a straight stick, a big line, and a curved line for the P. And then if you notice, um, I didn't put a new color up here. What I did is I just left these three colors. Okay, we've already worked on red, R-E-D, red, and yellow, Y-E-L-L-O-W spells yellow, whoops, and green, G-R-E-E-N, G-R-E-E-N. But what I did is I added a little apple down here because this is gonna be our apple week. I added a red, a yellow, and a green apple. Okay, so on Friday, Thursday when we do our apple tasting, um, you guys are gonna tell me what your favorite is and I'm gonna write your name on a little apple and we're gonna turn this board into a graph. And then on Friday during our Zoom, we are going to um, do a graph, a digital graph together and we'll get to see how many kids liked red, how many kids liked green, how many kids liked yellow. Now, um, I was gonna read a book, but this is getting kind of long, so I'm just gonna tell you parents that, um, so all week, instead of doing zoophonics during this time, I'm gonna be reading some of these Apple books, okay? So you can see I have a whole bunch I brought home from school. These are all Apple books, and then on this side, these are all stories about Johnny Appleseed. I and mean, I probably won't be able to read them all. I'll try to read one every day, um, and then I might throw some videos on for the kids to watch, but it's gonna be fun. So don't forget, have your apples by Thursday. One red, one yellow, and one green. Okay, bye.